Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning into Atlanta and Company. I'm Christine Pilara. It is so great to be with you. If you have stubborn fat that will not go away, or if you're just in need of a body image renewal, we have a treat for you this morning. Signature Plastic Surgery is here to help you look your very best. They've been serving Metro Atlanta customers with the latest technologies in surgical and non-surgical cosmetic surgery. And joining us today is Dr. Earl Stephenson. And we're so excited. You're going to kind of break down the common procedures people get and maybe just tell us a little bit more about why somebody would get something as opposed to something else, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Good morning. Thank Good you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, let's talk. This is so important that people really understand the requirements for a plastic surgeon. So talk more about that. It's very important. So requirements for a plastic surgeon are really a fewfold. You have to be board certified in plastic surgery, which means that you've completed at least five years of surgical training, usually in general surgery, and then an additional two to three years of plastic surgery fellowship training. So you must have at least seven to eight years of training before you can even treat people on, you know, on your own. And that is so key. Make sure you do your homework and make sure if you are looking for a plastic surgeon that they have met all of that criteria there. And talk about now what you specialize in at Signature. Well, uh, I have a little bit of unique training. I'm also board certified in oral and maxillofacial surgery, so I have a dental degree. So I focus a little bit on face, but I also do breast, body, and body sculpting. So I do a, a wide variety of things in my, in my practice. Well, let's first start off with breast. Breast implants, silicone, and saline. Now, I remember for years that they weren't using silicone anymore. It's been back now, I feel like. It's perfectly safe. So Absolutely. what would you recommend to women? For, you know, why should they choose one versus the other? Well, you know, it depends on the, the particular situation. Uh, as you can see out here on the monitor, we have a lady who has unequal breast volume. And so I, in that instance, I like to use saline because I can adjust those. And right. so saline's a little bit more adjustable. Silicone comes pre-packaged. So if you get a 300 cc implant, it's a 300 cc implant. Saline, I can adjust it a little bit more. Perfect. And, and uh, Ed, let's go here because I want to make sure people understand what he's talking about. When he says saline, that's essentially water. Correct. That's essentially so salt water. Salt water. So you can fill it up, as you said, whereas the silicone, you're going to get a certain size, 300 cc's, 400 cc's, correct. and that's it. There's that, no adjustments. That is correct. That is correct. So silicone also feels a lot more natural. Right. Yeah, please take Yes. It. Yes. And saline can feel natural if a woman has enough breast volume to cover that. Got it. So. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. You're I appreciate back. that. And now another thing that's become really popular, uh, maybe J-Lo or, or Kim Kardashian brought it into uh, popularity, is that grafting to shape our glutes. And what Absolutely. in the world? So you can actually pull fat from a, yes. one part of our body, stick it on another. Absolutely. So what we've done, and you're exactly right, J-Lo has been really kind of the, 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 the spokesperson without wow. speaking. That's that's uh, nice. For fat grafting. And what we've done here for this lady is we've liposculpted her. And what I like to do is not create a, a backside that is somewhat inappropriate right. or unproportional. Sure. So what we want to do is liposuction the patient's waist, abdomen, back, and then transfer that fat after processing to give them a better shape to their backside. Right. I mean, talk. look at that. I mean, she must have been thrilled because obviously the before, pretty flat. Absolutely. Pretty flat. And we've given her volume and projection. So that's what she's looking for. And it can be very easily done, very safely done. It is an outpatient procedure usually. Who knew? And, wow. and it can be done in less than probably three or four hours. Unbelievable. And you know, a lot of people, we, hey, your genetics tell the story and dictate Absolutely. whether sometimes all that diet and exercise doesn't mean a thing. So that's when these types of procedures might be just the trick for you. Another battle or another debate, I should say, liposuction versus tummy tuck. When do you get one over the other or do you get both? Well, you, you can get both. I see a lot of patients in my office who have questions about that. So what I do is I evaluate the patient's anatomy. So I look at the patient's abdomen. And for women who've had a lot of stretch marks, who may have had a lot of pregnancies, in that particular patient, an abdominoplasty or tummy tuck okay. would be what we would need to do to remove the excess skin and fat. Sometimes if a woman's not had a baby or not had a lot of stretching of the skin and they just have fat, I can liposuction and expect the skin to shrink back to their core. Every once in a blue moon, I can actually do both of those procedures together. Okay. And, of course, a lot of people are thinking, all right, I'm, I maybe want to renew myself for the fall. Kids are back in school. Right. Kind of want to do some things to my, spruce my, my look up. Where is your office located, and how can we find out more? 
Well, I'm located in Gwinnett County. We're okay. located on 2220 Wisteria Drive, Suite 209, Snellville, Georgia. The number is 770-466-4700 if you'd like to call us. And I'll repeat it again in just a minute, but before we go, please tell us about your breast cancer awareness promotion. Sure, I'd love to. So as you know, next month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so we've partnered with the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, our parent company, to promote breast cancer awareness in our community, as many other practices have done around the nation. So on the 23rd of October is Bra Day. So that will bring awareness to breast cancer patients that there are reconstructive options. So right. in our office, what we've done is had a promotion. We've asked people to design and dress up their bras and bring them to our office. We will judge them and then we'll hand out a prize that we've yet to determine at this Oh, point. nice. So That's hopefully cute. hopefully bring a little awareness to community, have a little fun with it, and somebody will get a little benefit also. Bedazzle uh, your yeah, brazier, ladies. Like That's that. right. Come I like on. That. Hey, you want to change it on marketing material? Uh, uh, there you go. Give me some credit. No. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Dr. You. Stephenson. It's been great. It's been a pleasure. My Come pleasure. back anytime. And if you would like more information, call 770-466-4700 or visit their website, it's signature-plasticsurgery.com.